Microsoft started offering cloud services to config manager quite a few years ago. And as every year has gone by, they're adding more and more functionality into this. So the story used to be, well, we're going to take Config Manager and we're going to replace it with Intune. That's no longer the story. That was a very unfortunate precedent that came out around the 2019 Ignite timeframe. Uh, Microsoft changed that story. It's more like better together now. So pretty much every single customer I'm working with at the moment, they are using Config Manager and Intune and Azure in some capacity together. But this one is just looking through the different volumes that I have on my machine, and it's going to issue four different tests of them. Uh, we have a read test, uh, two of the read tests, and then we have two write tests. And then in the end, it just gets out the result from this test. It runs for a good 20 minutes, and it spits out a result here in the CSV file. And of course, I can open that CC file in Excel and, and check the result. Uh, if you have a correct backup, and we'll cover that uh, later also, but if you have a decent backup and you have practiced it a few times, you can get a site server back in a few hours. And people Here, won't even example, know. You can see well. that this distribution point was last updated, well, last week, uh, patch level. Uh, so that's good. Services are running. Uh, Publication cache size, when it was created, temp file count, because I know that can break things. Service secret, count of errors last week, and stuff like that. So again, gathering more. So this will run through um, standard exclusions for your site servers, for your site systems, and the clients themselves. Uh, so we can see that our um, distribution points, our content library directories, our um, CCM cache, our CCM setup folders, that sort of thing, we want to go ahead and exclude um, if you from have the output of, uh, of a certain CM pivot query that you want to run a script against. You can simply right click the device or devices and run script right from here. Choose your script and it's going to run against every device that you've selected. Punch in That's pretty awesome. Site server here and what folder you want it to add in or show up in. But anyhow, I can create this report. If I want, I can preview it right here. But let me go ahead and run this one. Now I have a more detailed report builder. Uh, you can add in images and add in whatever you want really in this one. And I can go ahead and run this one and just see how it looks, build this report out. Here's my report. Maybe not the most elegant report in the world, but it's a report and I built it. It's mine. I'm proud of I it. have a batch file here, or PowerShell script, not batch file, uh, that basically the title is Start Mass Deployment. And this one simply enumerates a collection. So it gets all the members out of a collection and forces a script to run on each of those clients. And as you can see the name of that script, run batch of medium packages. So let me show you that script. This is just a script that requests certain packages and programs. If you do want to do mass testing of stuff, you can just have available deployments. You don't have to do them required. And you can run them as many times as you want on the client. And then we have this nice system. little button here that will actually preview which patches this rule is going to pick up. A lot. I this love is, that feature though. It's good. It, it is. It's so helpful. Um, but we can see we've got a bunch of different Windows 10 versions, feature updates all over the place with different language packs, uh, a lot of different things that are coming through with just those couple of uh, filters that we've created here. But what if we know we've updated from uh, 20H2? Let's say we know we don't have any 20H2 in this environment. We very aggressively patch in my lab. 
um, we can do this little option right here, the title filter. So if I click on title, we can actually do string searches that will filter particular strings out. Uh, so for example, let's say we no longer need 20H2. We'll go ahead and add that to our list. Click OK, preview. And we'll see that at least 20H2 is gone from so this list. In Config Manager, there are two different Pixie responders that you can choose from. The legacy one, which is using Windows Deployment Services, or the new one that is using not Windows Deployment Service. In 11 times out of 10, but most times you want to use the new one. It's more lightweight, plus it can be installed on a client OS. It doesn't have to be a server, technically. So I'm going to say this one here. Yes. 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 And this one here. 